after some of the mods that I'm going to be doing to my Bixler. First is putting in hinges or tape hinges instead of these cheap foam hinges. There are no plastic hinges like on the flaps. It's just the foam that has been pressed down and heated together um, to ensure the tape sticks. Take some rubbing alcohol and a terry cloth and clean it all up. The tape I'm using is Scotch shipping tape, heavy duty, model number 3850. This is 3.1 mil thick. It is almost like a plastic sheet. This is not your typical packing tape. Uh, you know the the thin flimsy stuff. This this is very thick. It's almost like it's it way you know thicker than saran wrap, and it's very tough. It's almost like a cellophane sheet and very sticky. I bought this at Office Depot for about nine ninety nine. I would recommend putting this tape on there before you put, glue the control horn on because I glued these on with uh, Gorilla Glue and they they're not coming off anytime soon. The good thing about this is they go all the way through the wing and I glued both this side and this side with Gorilla Glue. Just cut, cut the tape to length and then lay it on the wing. See, this tape is very, very sticky to a clean surface. Okay, push it down with your thumb. Push the flap all the way up and run your finger along the hinge line. This tape is very, very thick. And then smooth it on to the, to the flap. And you can take a uh, terry cloth and smooth it out. Because I've seen videos of the Bixler 2 where a guy's aileron came off in mid-flight and it caused a crash so this is one thing that I'm going to do is put on tape on both sides and isopropyl alcohol has no effect on this EPO about it melting or anything like that. Let it dry thoroughly. Then I usually measure my tape about a half inch shorter on each side. Make a nice light cut approximately where you want it. Once you press this tape down, it, it it bonds very well to the foam. Then do the other side of the, the hinge here, and be careful of these stickers because one if once you put the tape on there and you pull it off, these stickers will come off with the tape. Make sure you're got your tape where you want it the first time. lift it up a bit. See it's a very sticky tape. I just didn't even press on the aileron and it's already sticking to it. And move it up and down. I put the NTM 2826 1200 kV motor in this. Um, if you're going to buy this motor, you need to buy the shaft adapter. Um, it's called the NTM 2826 accessory pack, and it is basically this little shaft that the prop sits on that mounts onto here with uh, three Allen bolts. Because the shaft on the motor comes out the wrong way. I don't know if you can see that or it's going to focus or what. But... 
So in order to mount a prop on this motor, you have to buy the accessory pack, which is like $2 or so. You saw my review on the Red Brick ESC. It is no longer on my plane. I've taken it off and unsoldered the leads and put on an Exceed RC 40 amp speed controller. I've cut the heat shrink off of the, the top and it has a metal plate just like on any speed controller. And I put a white thermal grease that you use for a CPU on a computer. And this heat sink is an old CPU heat sink from a, from a like a chipset uh, chip on a computer. And I tie strapped that on there. Still uh, trying to figure out how to secure this to the plane. Maybe just a tie strap around here and goes around. Instead of using the glue that came with this model, I used Gorilla Glue, which is way stronger. Um, Gorilla Glue, because this comes in two halves, I got the kit. And I used blue painter's tape, which is low tack and low stickiness, and wrapped it around the uh, fuselage of the plane. I Gorilla Glued the motor mount into the foam. I epoxied this carbon fiber into the foam for more rigid rigidity. About the only place I used the, the supplied glue was to glue the plastic plate onto the foam here and then on the tail. All, all linkages have a little piece of fish of fish tank airline tubing about a quarter inch long cut and slipped over the head to retain it. Uh, you know, I don't know how, how sturdy these things are, but they aren't coming off with this fish tank tube.